It's vegan recipes with Pat and Emily. On tonight's show, I'm going to show you how to make Pappy's Perfect Pancakes. And they are so delicious. You can even make a mix from just ordinary ingredients that you have in your kitchen. And of course, in the description, I'm going to give you a link so you can print out the recipe and attach it to any of the gifts that you happen to be giving. As I gather my ingredients, I want to tell you about the ingredients that you can use for the fat component. You could use coconut oil. If you get the refined, you won't taste a coconut flavor. You can also use Crisco, butter flavor or regular. Both are vegan. Those two fats, the coconut oil and the Crisco, will not need to be put in the refrigerator. However, you may want to use a plant-based margarine or butter, and you can use these, but if you use this, the mix will have to be kept in the refrigerator, and when you give it away, you can just say, keep refrigerated. I've selected a bowl that I'll have room to mix. In my bowl already was the dry egg replacer. This is baking powder, salt, and sugar. The quantities will be in the description below for you. Get all of these ingredients well incorporated. I've decided to use butter flavor Crisco. I think it makes the pancake a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna put it into my flour. I could put the whole thing in, but it's gonna be easier to mix it this way. All of the fats that you are using in this are going to have to be solid chilled might make it a little bit easier to cut the margarine or whatever fat you're using in. So you're just going to make these motions. This is a pastry blender. If you don't have one, you can use a fork and just keep moving the flour around. You can see that you do need to have space in the bowl. So I'll be back in a minute and show you what it looks like when I'm done. If perchance you don't have the pastry cutter and your fork's not working well, I'm going to show you what they used to do in the old days. They would take the flour and the fat and just mix it by hand to get it crumbly. So you got a couple options here. I hate for you to have to go buy any special equipment, especially for this recipe. You will just keep doing it to all of the larger clumps of fat are mixed in. Here's a few container ideas that you can use. This is a Christmas can. I had already shown you this size jar. This jar that holds about a cup that will make about three or four pancakes. When you fill your containers, it's nice to have like a funnel to get your mix in there. Don't pack down the mix. Just gently put it in the can or jar. And this is a larger size. One batch makes about six cups of mix. And I made another batch. In the description below, I will have a link where you can print out the recipe and also the quantity so you know how much milk to mix with these. Plant milk, of course. And then this little one, this is just a cute little gift. It'll make just a few pancakes. And then you'll just put the lids on. I get these online. However, you could just use canning lids. There you have it. Now it's time for you to decorate your jars and put your little Christmas messages on them. I wanted you to see how this mixes up once you add your liquid. So this is just a half a cup of the mix. I don't want to make too many pancakes. We have done so much testing that I don't want to eat uh, too many more pancakes. And then this is six tablespoons of soy milk. Now we have tested it out. Soy milk seems to make the lightest pancakes of all and they brown pretty nicely. However, other milks work. I've tested it with almond milk. I even tested it with water and it was amazing. They tasted very good and they were also light and fluffy. So this is what the batter looks like. And now I'm gonna put it on a hot preheated griddle. I sprayed the griddle with Pam and I'm testing it to see how hot the griddle is. I use about a quarter cup of batter and that half a cup's gonna make three small pancakes. And these will cook just like you would cook any other pancakes. I'll be back as I'm ready to turn them. Uh, the pancakes are starting to form little bubbles on top and drying out along the side. And you can see they're nicely browned. I want 
to show you the texture of these pancakes. They're very tender. You can see they're light and fluffy. They have a nice, sweet smell to them. So I will let you know what they taste like. They are light, they're delicate, and these are going to be a favorite gift when you give them away this holiday season. Merry Christmas and God bless you.